Well, guys, there's a new pest in town. A new pest for me. <laughs> so, on the battleground again with trying to keep our plants healthy. This is a type of beetle that I am not familiar with. I did see which, which I identified as some potato beetles on my potato plants, which I'll also gonna be dusting them today with some diatomaceous earth. And this is just a, a little um, duster <laughs> that I purchased through Amazon. So I've just taken a walk through the garden today, just to, you know, quick look through, but you know, of course, I found these uh, beetles going to town on my summer squash plants. Luckily, right now, they seem to be focusing on one leaf. And um, I think there's probably eggs under the leaf and they're just hatching now and they're eating that one leaf. So at least they're not attacking the whole plant, but I wanna be proactive and try to um, slow them down. If I do see some eggs on other leaves, I may I'm not a fan of squishing eggs or bugs or even collecting bugs, but um, I may just like snip the whole leaf and drop it in some soapy water and um, add that to my arsenal. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn you around, show you the, the beetles that I have now. They're more of a yellow color. I don't know if that's because they're younger but they do have stripes on their back like the potato beetles. So this is the diatomaceous earth that I purchased. You definitely want to wear a mask when you're applying this. You don't want to be breathing it in. So let's go around here to see if we can zoom in. There are the little devils. There was many more of them a little while ago. I think they're finished, almost finished eating the heck out of this leaf. But going to be inspecting the rest of the plants. They do have three stripes, like the potato beetles, and they're smaller. I did read that the um, for the potato beetles, the diatomaceous earth, their shell is too hard for the diatomaceous earth to affect them, but it will kill the eggs if you see any. Just wanted to give you an update on our pests. We had cucumber beetles and I've been using diatomaceous earth, dusting all my squash plants and cucumber plants and um, also dusting the ground around them because that's where they lay their eggs from what I was reading. And um, when they hatch, then they'll get killed. The only trouble with diatomaceous earth is when it rains, it gets washed away and you have to reapply it. And if you're in New England like we are, we've had a lot of rain, a lot of rain. <laughs> Pretty much the whole month of June and July, you know, we might get a couple sunny days and this is one of those sunny days. And so it's like a mad dash to get outside and do what we need to do <laughs> before it rains again. So. Yes, it does need to be reapplied, but it is a natural remedy for a lot of beetle type bugs, ants and that kind of thing. I would encourage you to do your own research on that. But my squash plants are starting to flower now, so I'm trying to be careful because it can affect the pollinators like the bees and I don't want to hurt them. But I may still, um, 
sprinkle some around the base of the plants in case there are some more cucumber beetle eggs that are going to be hatching. But I did see, I probably saw less than 10 squash bugs and a lot of them were mating the last time I was in here checking the plants about three days ago. So I did um, take care of the squash bugs that I did see. I was just looking at one leaf and I did see a little cluster of what looks like squash bug eggs. So I'll be taking care of those today. But my main concern today is when I was out the other day, I did see a couple of the vine borer moths. And they're, it's a black moth with uh, some orange markings near the tail. And so they're out, they're out laying, I'm sure, laying their eggs at the base of the squash plants. And um, if you've ever been infested with those, you'll have beautiful plants and then you'll wake up the next day and they're just dead. They'll lay the eggs at the base of the plant. And then uh, when the worms hatch, they'll make a hole into the stem of the plant and just eat their way up and it, it kills your plants. But what I have found that has worked, and this is a little odd, <laughs> but I had seen another um, young lady doing this in her garden and I've tried it uh, the past couple years and it really has saved my squash plants. I know I saw signs of infestation last year and I still had a good harvest. So what I've been using is um, this caterper caterpillar killer, <laughs> but it kills any kind of worm. It kills tent caterpillars, gypsy moths, tomato horn worms, and it does kill the vine borer uh, worms as well. And so what this is, is Bacillus thuringiensis. It's a natural remedy. It doesn't harm your plants or your, your harvest. You can use it up to the day of harvest and it won't harm you in any way. I'm going to be both uh, spraying the outside of my plants in case there are eggs at the stem. And I'm also going to be injecting the stems with a solution as well in case they've already made their way up there. So we're just using a teaspoon of this for a quart of water and it also says you can use it for trees and shrubs so if you're infested with all these other bugs it's a great option. We've also had some Japanese beetles, also been trying to get rid of those. They don't care what they eat as long as it's green. <laughs> so we have our solution here. Just going to be going at a diagonal and filling up the stems with the solution. These are my pumpkin plants. Last year I lost my plants, but I was able to save my zucchinis. So basically just going at the top of the stems you can inject like, it's just going to go down to the base of the plant, down the stem, but I mean, you could inject it at different points, but this is not going to harm the plant at all. It's hard for me to tell if um, 
they have been infested already because with all the rain, there's a lot of dirt along the stems of the plants and there's also some leftover residue of the diatomaceous earth. So now we just have our solution. I'm just going to spray There we go. Paying close attention to the base of the plant. So it just took me a few minutes to get my pumpkin patch done. And um, now I'm gonna move on to my other squash plants. Always vigilant especially this time of year when the squash is blooming and I might be planting more squash just to stagger them <laughs> and in case these really don't survive but you just never know so simple thing little extra insurance like I said I saw two of those moths I did take care of one of them maybe it was the same one I don't know <laughs> but you can't be here 100% of the time watching what's going on. But this is, has definitely worked for me in the past. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for joining me today. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll see you next time. Bye.